What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this brand new 2021 Ford Mustang GT. Huge shout out and thank you to Mooresville Ford. They're providing this car for today's video. Check out the link to their website in the description below. They're getting in a huge selection of all the 2021 Fords, so check them out. And the model that we're looking at today is finished off in antimatter blue, is equipped with a six-speed manual transmission and the GT performance package, and has an MSRP at $46,500. Underneath the hood, the Mustang GT features a 5-liter 8-cylinder engine that cranks out 460 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. The engine is sent through the 6-speed manual transmission to the rear wheels with a limited slip rear differential at a ratio at 3.73. And with a curb weight around 3,700 pounds, you can expect zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds with a quarter mile time at 12.2 and a top speed at 155 miles an hour. The Mustang is running on a 16 gallon tank and you can expect 15 miles per gallon in the city with 24 out on the highway. The overall length is 188.5 inches with a wheelbase at 107.1. The width is 75.4 with a height at 54.3 inches. And with the GT Track Performance Package, you're gonna get ventilated disc brakes in all four corners with 15 inch rotors up front with a six piston Brembo brake caliper and 13 inch rotors in the rear with a single piston brake caliper. The 2021 Ford Mustang GT has a really aggressive design all around. If we start up front, you can see the gloss black center grille with the chrome pony logo right in the center. Has a really nice mesh design into it and it's got a massive opening to allow maximum cooling to the radiators. You'll also notice the lower grille is finished off in a satin black with more of the large mesh openings. And we even get a satin black lower front splitter to really add to the aggression of the styling. There's a set of LED headlights with LED daytime and running lights right within them. They had that classic three bar design which fits really well with Mustang. You can see the LED fog lights down below that and there's a lot of sharp body lines all around to give it a wide appearance. You'll notice in the top portion of the bumper there's two sharp body lines that flow seamlessly into the hood and there's two functional heat extraction vents right in the center that also add to the styling and you can see all these sharp body lines around the hood to emphasize the boldness of a Mustang and it all flows together to give this that classic design. And as we make our way to the side profile, this Mustang features a set of 19 inch painted aluminum wheels finished off in a gloss black multi-spoke design with a Pirelli P0 wrapping them. They have a really good contrast against this dark blue paintwork. And then along the front fender, you can see the 5.0 badge as well as a really sharp body line above that going right through the doors and side door handles. And then you get another sharp body line in the lower portion of the doors. And then you can see a really nice bulge going over the rear wheels to give it a wider appearance. And one more sharp body line going from the headlights on the top of the fenders all the way through the top portion of these doors and they kind of blend away. The Mustang features body colored door handles and body colored mirror caps. And then black trim around the windows. And then moving to the roof, you can see two more body lines in it matching the hood and it slopes down to the trunk giving this that fastback design for the side profile. And onto the rear end of the GT Mustang, you can see the trunk mounted pedestal spoiler all part of the track pack. And then we have gloss black right in the center of the bumper with your GT logo and standard backup camera. On each side, we have the LED rear taillights that have that traditional three bar design, also featuring a sequential turn signal. You'll also notice the reverse light right in the center of this diffuser, and you can see sharp fins all around the diffuser, giving it an aggressive design. And then finishing it up, we have the dual quad tipped active exhaust system. So there's a good look at the exterior as well as some of the specs on the 2021 Ford Mustang GT. Comment down below, what do you guys think of the GT? I think it has a beautiful design, really classy, just that fastback design looks great for a sports car. We now have the Mustang key fob. We even got the pony on one side. We can go ahead and lock the car. All I have to do is go up to the door handle and grab it. It'll automatically unlock and we can check out this interior. This interior is finished off in black and it has the equipment group 301A. If we go ahead and take a look at the door panel now, you can see some black leather along the armrest and it has some padding on it. There's also contrast stitching above it with a little bit of fabric design. We have an aluminum color for your grab handle and then both of your window controls and all of the mirror controls above that. The release handle is up here with your lock and unlock and then you can see two speakers as well as some storage. Moving our way inside now, this has an illuminated aluminum Mustang logo on the door panel, has a really cool design, and you can even see some power controls for the seats with a manual recline behind that. 
These seats are finished off in fabric with more of the contrast stitching and you can see the really nice bolsters to them with a cool stripe right in the center of the seat. We do have Mustang written out in the top part of these backrests and more contrast stitching leading our way to the headrests. And then taking a look at the steering wheel, it's finished off in black leather with black stitching and you'll notice aluminum accents all throughout. And then now inside the Mustang, keeping my foot on the clutch, we can go ahead and fire it up. Taking a look at the controls along the steering wheel now, we have your volume controls on the left side as well as all the cruise control settings. And then over on the right, we have more of the Bluetooth controls. And then this panel right here will actually control the LCD display right in the center of the screen. We have a digital speedometer and if I scroll down, you can see your tire pressure and then continuing to scroll, you can see a lot of information within the vehicle, which is really nice to see. More information comes up. And then if I scroll to the left, you can see your main menu. You have trip information right here. You can go under your track apps. See a lot of the information right here if you're gonna take this into the track. You can see your brake performance, you can time things like that. Of course you have your line lock, which will lock the front wheels and make it to where you can do a burnout for better drag racing times. We have your launch control, other things like that you can check. And then continuing down, you have your driver's assistance as well as settings. So a lot of really cool things you can configure within this vehicle. We also have your tack over on the left side with your engine temperature, and then your speedometer over on the right side with fuel and it even says ground speed just to give this a little bit extra flare and then on the right side of the steering wheel we have the windshield wiper control and then over on the left side we have your turn signal stock with your high beams as well as the lane keeping assist and then over on the left side of everything we have all of your headlight controls and you can see this really cool brushed aluminum design around it we even have a little bit of storage that can come out which is a really cool touch and your trunk release button is right to the right of that you can see one of the air vents, and then we have some black leather along the dash with more of the stitching, a nice air vent in the center, and then right in the center here we have your oil pressure gauge as well as a vacuum for the engine with two more air vents around that. You can see this really cool design along the dash as well as a Mustang logo on the other side. This is a very classic looking dashboard dating back to the original Mustang, so I really like how they've transferred that into the 2021 model year. And then right in the center, we have the Sync 3 touchscreen infotainment system. You can see right now we have all of your climate controls right on the screen. If I tap audio, it comes up right here. You can see how everything is laid out. We also have your phone integration, all of your apps come up, and then tapping the settings icon, you can see a lot of things that you can adjust. Scrolling over now, you can see what else we have. And then if I go ahead and put the clutch in and push this into reverse, you can see the backup camera automatically comes up. You can see the guidelines on it, which is really nice to see, and the parking sensors over on the right side. And then putting this back into neutral, Right in the center now, you can see some physical buttons for all the audio controls, and then more physical buttons for climate. You can see the dual zone climate control, your different zones and everything like that. And then one of my favorite features are these aluminum toggle switches down below. We of course have your engine start stop. You can toggle this one up for your hazards. You can toggle this one up to turn traction control on and off. And then right here, we have your different steering wheel modes. We go ahead and take a look now. You have a normal mode, a sport mode, and then a comfort mode. Really cool how everything is configurable. And then on the farthest right, we have your actual drive modes. We have a normal mode. We have the sport plus track mode, a drag mode, and then a wet mode. Really cool how everything is laid out. I love all the configurations. We have a little bit of storage down below with a 12 volt and USB. And then you can take a look at your 6B manual shifter. It's a really short throw, finish off in leather. And then we have a leather shift boot with black stitching around that. Really nice design. We have a manual parking brake with more leather. Two cup holders on this right side. And then we can take a look at the center console. This opens up. We have a little bit of space in here with USBs as well as a 12 volt. And it's finished off in leather with some stitching. And then if we go ahead and take a look at the glove box, just pressing this button, it automatically opens down. We have a pretty good amount of space in here actually. Really nice to see for a two-doored car. And then one last look at the overall interior. Really simplistic design. I like how everything is laid out. It looks really traditional for a Mustang. The seat combination looks really good as well. Good bolsters to them. Nice design overall. And then last thing up, we have a frameless rear view mirror. 
The 2021 Mustang is also a four-seater, so if I grab this handle behind these front seats, we can lock this up into place to have better access to get into the rear. You can see how the rear seats are finished off in the same black cloth with the contrast stitching and even the same stripe design right in the center. All right, so hopping into the back seat of the Ford Mustang. I have the driver's seat set at my height and I am five foot 11. Let's go ahead and lock this back into place. Surprisingly, I actually have some knee room. You can see how my knees are fitting right into this little cutout in the seat, which is kind of nice to see. Uh, my head, I can almost put it up straight. Uh, I have to hunch over a little bit, just kind of hitting the bulkhead just a little bit, but really not the worst for a smaller car like this. Of course, this isn't designed to be a legit four seater, but in a pinch, you can fit full grown adults back here. It's not too cramped, uh, it's doable, not for long distances, but uh, not too bad. And then I can easily grab this handle and lift the seat forward and then climb out. And then onto the trunk storage space, you can use the button on the key fob, the one on the interior, or just go up to the back of the bumper and press the button. It pops the trunk. We can get a really good look now. Pretty large opening in here, as you can see. So you can definitely fit a lot of items in the back of a Mustang. And then with the back seats folded down, you can see just how much more storage space we have in the back of a Mustang. And then even entering through the door, you can see how they fold down nearly flat, really maximizing the cargo space for a smaller two-door car like this. So for this layout, it's definitely very usable. All right guys, so we are now setting off in the 2021 Mustang GT, getting my bearings with this vehicle. So I'm just in the normal mode, um, normal basic everything. Some really cool features for 2021. We now have blind spot alert, the forward collision, and things like that, all standard, lane keeping assist, and things like that. So I really like how Ford is bringing all those safety systems into their sports car, which is really nice. As far as just driving it right now, this is a really comfortable car. The exhaust is in the quiet mode, have the heat on, this is really smooth and comfortable to drive we're in sixth gear just cruising low rpm around 1200 rpm right now you don't really hear any wind noise or road noise the seats are really comfortable and these bolsters are pretty large where they're actually holding you for lateral grip which i really like to see armrests are in a good place as well and the leather on the steering wheel feels really nice in my hand so i like the quality of that as far as the interior the fit and finish and the user interface the touchscreen sync 3 is super simple i love the climate controls on the screen and physical buttons down below i think that just makes it very easy and then the few other things that you can control while driving everything is just very user friendly and then as far as the fun factor the performance side of things i love the gauges on the center here it's really cool to see your oil pressure i think that's very important especially if you're going to take this on the track you need to know that information and then everything else with the dials on the gauges are really easy to read so with that said everything has been nice and comfortable let's toggle the steering into the sport mode and let's go up into the track mode for the drive mode it's telling me for track use i'll hit okay <laughs> It does some rev matching downshifts in this mode as well because we do have that on. <laughs> Exhaust valve is open and second gear. <laughs> that coyote motor, my goodness, this is one of the best sounding V8s, hands down. Wow, that sounds good. So now we are on some good sweepers going around 50 miles an hour. It is really stable and flat. You really don't feel any body roll or anything like that. The steering is really tight, really does a good job. <laughs> nice linear power band as well. And the car seems pretty responsive. We have some tighter turns ahead of us. I love this shifter. This is one of the best manual shifters, I think, especially in a nice American muscle car. Super short throws, the engagement, it's so easy to find your gears, very notchy as well. The clutch as well, there's a lot of feedback in it, a good bite point in it. It's not too heavy. Normally you would think on a V8 engine it'd be some big old heavy clutch, but super easy to use. And I like how with the rev matching on, I like how good it works. Man, <laughs> I haven't driven a manual car in quite some time, not too much getting used to. I think it's a very easy car to drive if you are even new to manual transmissions. So I like how Ford has made it to where it's easy and forgiven, but still really responsive and you get a lot of good feedback. Man, that, oh, that exhaust is just too good. <laughs> so harder on the brakes, we got a hairpin turn now. These brakes do a really good job. We of course have some nicer roads, but this track pack I think is a really good blend of everything. Uh, and then as far as visibility goes, the Mustang has a really good view out. 
you have a large windshield, I can easily see everything. And then looking through the side mirrors, rear view mirror, and things like that, left and right shoulder, you have really good view out. So I like how good that is for a car like this. All right, nice 90 degree hairpin. Really planted. So smooth in the power delivery. It's got a good linear power band. It's not crazy fast, I would say, but it's a very healthy motor. As you know, it's not a slow car. And I just like how solid everything is. Of course, with a big, naturally aspirated V8, it's just smooth and effortless. So as we are cruising now, a little bit higher speeds, around 40. We'll just do a third gear acceleration around a turn. Very smoothly gets right up to speed. That's nothing. Yeah, I think the Mustang is just a very smooth car to drive. And the thing I really like about Mustang is the fact that it is super well rounded. On these back roads, it handles really sharp, but then you can tone everything down, put it into comfort steering. We'll go into the normal mode. And the car tones down a lot. I like having two cars in one. This can be a really good performance muscle car, but then you can tone it all down and it just kind of softens out a little bit. A good daily driver. This would be fantastic just cruising to work every day, highway driving, anything that you need to do. And even a little bit harder on the brakes. Brakes are adequately sized, especially being we got the Brembos up front. So I think this car is very well rounded with what it can do. And then of course with upgrades and things like that, you can of course make these things even crazier. And with Ford's lineup, you can go from a four cylinder EcoBoost all the way up to the Shelby. And we even have the Mach 1 coming out, which is gonna be a beast of a Mustang. But I think Ford does a great job with a Mustang. Really can't complain with it. Uh, looks amazing inside and out. I love just the styling. It's very simple and you really can't go wrong with it. But I think that is then it for the 2021 Ford Mustang GT. Beautiful car, sounds amazing. And I love driving it with the manual transmission. Definitely check out Mortarsville Ford and huge shout out and thank you to them for providing this car for today's video. They have a huge selection of all the brand new 2021 Fords, so check them out. But that is it guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next video. Thank you.